The idea is to take the aerial photo and note the latitude and longitude, or it's all Western Hemisphere, so remember the negative sign in front of longitude. Take the latitude and longitude from the aerial photo, noting its orientation and so on, and take that latitude and longitude over to your 3D scene, and over here on the right side, search and search for that latitude and longitude. You're going to zoom to it, and then you're going to change the base map to a satellite image. We're going to zoom out just a little bit and then take a look at, in this case, Linton, North Dakota. Notice the golf course with these beautiful pines in the foreground and Linton, North Dakota in the background. Now we're going to go to this 3D scene. We're going to find Linton, and there it is. And there's the golf course, so we know that we need to change the orientation so that the golf course is in the foreground. Okay, we're going to zoom in a little bit on that. And we're also going to check the, notice the roads, the orientation of the roads. Okay, and go back to the 3D scene. We're going to need to change it a little bit so that we're adjusting it slightly so that the golf course is here. Now let's check the aerial. We see a little bit more in the background here. So we're going to maybe zoom out just a little bit and check the aerial once again. I see that road in the foreground and here I see that road and I'm going to change it ever so slightly so we're, we're looking at it this way, not quite where north is at the left side. In other words, we're looking at this east, due east almost, but not quite due east. So again, we're going to change this a little bit so that we're going to see that building just to the, would it be to the west of the road? Remember, north is at the left side. And here's that road again. Here's that road here. Here's the downtown area and the railroad track and some of the river drainages in the background. And now we're going to look at this 3D scene again. How is our scale? We see basically from one end of the golf course to the other. And notice that my 3D scene that I've got just a little bit too much. In other words, I'm, I'm zoomed too far out. So let's go ahead and zoom in just a little bit. And then let's adjust this just a little bit here. And so now we're getting close to what the aerial says. Maybe tilting it just a little bit, right like that. And then bit more there we go now I can still see the downtown and I can see a little bit more of the town in the would be the east side of town so I'm going to tilt there we go so now he's got a little bit of the surrounding area and what do we have here it's where the air where the uh, railroad track goes out to the east do I see that here yes it's right up here in that corner of the of the 3d scene so I'm, again, I'm comparing, I'm using spatial thinking, orientation, scale, tilt, to try to match where the aircraft was with the 3D scene inside ArcGIS online, which is a, it just touches on multiple aspects of spatial thinking, which is one of the reasons why I love this activity. So right now, I'm seeing this, and I'm seeing this. I could sign in and save this as a slide in my 3D scene viewer, but I'm just going to go with a very simple proof of concept to how to compare this and build that. Thanks. Thanks.